Hello. Hey, Rama. Hello. Hey, Peter, can you hear me? Hey, yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Message for me. He's joining. Give me a minute. Okay. So, uh, you had to, you were trying to do some experiments on the uh, package publishing, right? Yes, for Sandeep showed me something you had in a, in a book. Yeah, unfortunately, I have not had the time to do more on it since then but I'll definitely get something done this week. Okay. So from my side, not too many updates just yet, but uh, I've been working on it. Sure, yeah. I, I'm uh, also been waiting for the packages to get published so we can start experimenting with them. Uh, so the, with the API. Uh, I think Sandeep had, uh, so we have one PR and Sandeep has another now. Sandeep, you want to talk about them? Okay, yeah, so the PR that got merged is that I updated all the names and the targets that it should be published to Cacti. And now the second PR I am adding that will add the workflows that will publish the packages in the Cacti. So, Sounds good to me. Yeah, maybe Peter, can you if... review this? So I, I added the logic where uh, on the tag release, it will uh, take the version from that and uh, make a release of the package. It, I, I tried to use something similar to what Cacti already has. Cactus already has some published workflows. Oh, sorry if I didn't look at it yet. Yeah, I mean, it's mm -hmm. not hurry. I just, I opened it yesterday only, so. Yeah, honestly, I, I want to, I, my aim is to review pull requests either the same day or the next day the latest mm -hmm. uh it's not easy but we should i think strive for that because especially if the ci was faster we would we should be able to merge much more pull requests much faster than what we are currently at so i definitely want to improve that significantly i mean i want to speed it up 10 times easy yeah, I'm guilty of being slow at uh, reviewing myself. Uh, some people have to remind me. But I will I'll also try to be faster at it. Thank you. And we have, uh, I mean, that's one of the things we've been discussing uh, in the context of project based practices, too, right? Yeah. Okay, I proved it. I was just looking at it right now. Looks good to me, you know, it's, uh, mm -hmm. I didn't look at it in too much detail, but I did take a glance and if there's something in there that I very much disagree with for whatever reason that I didn't realize, 
we can always talk more about it later and then just change it maybe if it ends up being like that. Okay. So, uh, how many uh, does it uh, does the PR mean? It's two votes. It's uh, two companies. Companies. But since I just approved it from Accenture, you Rama could approve it from IBM, and then that's it. Yeah, I'll I'll do that uh, shortly. The only thing is that if, if at least two organizations agree that something should happen, then it should happen because that's currently the, the majority. That's a 66% majority. Right. And I'm, I have this other idea to write a GitHub action based bot that would make it possible for us to actually enforce this logic programmatically so that it would have it would parse the maintainers file and then it would have a configuration that says not just that it's any two reviewers but two reviewers from two separate organizations and then it would block the merge until at least two different organizations approved it. And then with that, we could enable auto merge so that the moment the necessary approvals are there, it just gets merged immediately. And then we are on to the next pull request. That's cool. So right now uh, it's just, uh... The block is only for two words, any two words, right? Yeah, any two organizations out of the three. No, I mean, uh, currently, uh, so say if, uh, if you and uh, Jaffrit voted, would the PR go through? Oh, yeah, yeah. So GitHub's logic is, is, not aware of the organizations so yeah that's the problem that's right. why we cannot enable auto merge right now yeah. because then me and jackpreet could accidentally get things merged just because both of us approved it and you didn't even have a chance for yeah. example i understand yeah i think uh, among us uh, among all the lead maintainers we we know to wait for approval from other ones other companies yeah yeah right now we're all just complying with the rules that we know of yeah but it would be more efficient if more automation could be in it yep i agree so sandy back to the pr uh this uh this is the last I mean, this will publish all the packages we need right for the previous Sorry, can I come again? The PR that you currently have that will publish the packages we need for the previous version. Yes. Whenever I mean, we'll have to release a tag for that and then it will publish. Okay. And the Go packages? For Go packages, it's not there right now. So we, I still couldn't figure out how to do that in one single release. Sorry, that's on me. I said I would try it as well, but I have not yet time to finish my investigation. I'll put some more effort in this week. No problem. But, but in the meantime, Sandeep, how do we publish the Go packages? Uh, it's just I, one pull request yeah. per package, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, sorry, that's just super inefficient. Yeah. I was, I was trying to create a script uh, that would uh, generate all the check, Go checksums in one mm. commit, but 
I'm not sure whether it will be hundred percent foolproof. Yeah. Yeah, not easy. Yeah. But uh, if you can share that script, I'm also have to take a look at that. Maybe you know the two of us together figure something out faster. Sure. If you want, you can also commit it to that. Uh, I can invite you to be a collaborator on on my sandbox repo. You know the one that I showed last time. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Let me invite you. Give me one second. Collaborators. Oh, all right. Give me give it two more seconds because it just hit me with the two factor authentication. The phone is in the other room. So give me a sec. Okay, it says that the invite has been sent. Okay, let me check. Uh, can you share the link to the repo? Yes, one second. <clears throat> Put it on the Zoom chat. Okay. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. So I'll add the script here to test. Okay. Then I can also take a look and also feel free to use the repo as well. If if there's something that you want to test that is also Mm -hmm. Difficult to test in a in the actual official repo. This okay. is a good lab environment, and you know nothing bad's gonna happen if if you put commits in there. I don't care about it. It's just a test mm -hmm. repo. Okay. No, I don't have anything else right now. No. Me neither. Uh, I had to uh, ask something on the Discord. So it's about the node modules. Uh, oh, like there are I'm some sure. conflicts in the node modules because of, there's there's a global node modules folder in the root of the cacti, right? When we clone it. Mm -hmm. And that's causing some conflicts with the Weaver packages. I don't know like how cactus have uh, avoided that but just wanted to know how to fix that so that's uh the mono repo both yarn and npm supports it and they are called well, sort of a mono repo they're called workspaces mm -hmm. so if you want to read up on it then there's a, here's a link I put on the chat. Uh, so what I'm thinking is that probably your package JSON is just not yet set up to be part of the workspaces. Okay. And Yarn is getting confused about whether it's a workspace based repository or a non workspace based repository. That's the best thing I can imagine. And probably the solution is to tell it that the Weaver 
packages, the Node.js Weaver packages are part of the list of packages that are in the project. And you can do that with globs in the learner.json file. So there's this packages. Uh, okay. And tree that has globs. So I would try to add it there. You can try to add here the globs in match. Yes, I put that also in the group chat on Discord. Okay. So hopefully that fixes it, but if not, I'm happy to take a look myself. Okay, I'll try this. Cool. If nothing else, then thanks everyone for joining. I'll talk to you next time. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.